Welcome back to D-Ray's Garage, where today we're going in deep on the Bimmer Code app. Buckle your seatbelts. And if you don't like to buckle your seatbelts, stay tuned so I can show you how to turn off those annoying chimes. So before we begin any craziness messing with the ECU, get yourself a thumb drive, like so. This is called the Cruiser. C-R-U-E-Z-E-R -E -E from SanDisk and insert it in your middle headrest. Once inserted, scroll down to profiles and make sure you've saved your profile. So scroll over the one you want. Well, this is the one that's active. Then hit the option button in your control panel here and then you can reset it, you can rename it. So just name it something before you begin anything here, thereby exporting it to a USB where you have it saved. So name it, export it, profiles exported, saved under this file name. Now we have that safe, let the games begin. Really what we're trying to get at today is how you make your i3 more your own, including some personal preferences, some convenient elements from the sublime to the ridiculous. Bev and Rex drivers can benefit from the, some of these items. These are not my recommendations. These are just things that you can do to your i3 and you can also choose not to. Definitely an evolving product. So each time I come back, I find that the basic programming allows a deeper level of programming, which is nice. Uh, basics definitely for the uh, everyday layman, very simple to use. The expert mode mostly requires understanding of German language and then also a little bit uh, interpretation because even then the descriptions are rather short. You code by module or ECU or electronic control unit and by and large you're toggling between active and inactive, you're setting timings or delays and then you're setting alarm volumes and in some instances durations. Pretty straightforward stuff but really can help dial in your car to do what you want it to do. Within the advanced crash safety module, the main area of interest there would be for those of you who don't like the annoying seatbelt chimes or would like those chimes to disappear sooner. So lots of opportunity to refine that in this section. Pretty straightforward. The front electronic module has lots of useful sections in it, be that you want your car to start up in your GoPro, you want your mirrors to fold when you hit the lock button or unlock button, etc, etc. And then uh, some wiper cycle and even the temperatures of your heated seats, if your car has them.
The head unit control section has lots of cool stuff that will show up there on your central display unit. And the things I really like there are turning off the volume, if visual indicator, I like to turn the TPMS sensors to give me temperature and pressure because I'm an autocross nerd. And uh, the sport displays don't even work worth a damn, so don't worry about those. And the USB video so you can watch all your episodes of D-Ray's Garage or anything else you put onto a USB drive right there in your car. Obviously under safe conditions. The instrument cluster ECU doesn't harbor much of great use. Uh, the Rex takeover percentage I increased to 10 or 15%, I don't quite remember. But it, the jury's out as to whether that even holds from the standard 6% anyway. The entertainment heads up display, I'm not sure that's even functional in an i3. And the hold stator charge option is housed in here but only through the expert mode. So go see my prior video again, if you wanna see how to do that. Here in the stupidly named roof function center, unless roof is a German word for something else. You can control your alarm sounds, acoustical alarm volumes and duration. And the duration makes it sound quite odd, but I don't have a sample, so you'll have to try that out all for yourselves. Alright folks, well that's all she wrote for another episode here of D-Ray's Garage. Hope you got plenty out of this. I know there's a lot of tips and tricks in here that'll help a lot of you make your i3 more personal to you. Expert mode, that's a whole different place. Not going there today. So, we'll see you on the next one. Be memorable, be well. <laughs>